Hello, today we're talking with Lena Hatsikronoglu. She's a humanities instructor. Lena, thank you for joining us. Hello, thank you. Can you give us a little background on your career with the college? As, as we uh, talked a little bit earlier, you know, I told you I'm Greek. I was born and raised in Greece. I came to this country to go uh, to graduate school, and I got a PhD from Johns Hopkins University in classical studies, and then I followed my career, became a professor at um, uh, the University of Florida, uh, and then they recruited me here at Wayne State University uh, for a while. You know, I was for seven years the Modern Greek Studies Director, and then I got out of academia to build up my own company, which is called Hellenic Visions, to do more uh, public speaking and sharing ideas. But then I was recruited to teach here in the humanities department, and I'm teaching mythology in the humanities department. And can you tell us a little bit about the success of your mythology program? Uh, when I first came here, I came here to uh, teach one course. Uh, because that's what they had here uh, in Centre Campus. But uh, they had a full-time instructor in um, um, the, the other campus. But, you know, in Centre Campus, we had only one course in mythology. But then once I started here, I loved it, uh, and the students loved it. And so the dean asked me to teach an, another one and another one. And uh, from there on, we built a full program that uh, we have two instructors now teaching it, and then we have waiting lists. And what instructional technologies do you currently incorporate into your teachings, and what advice do you have for some instructors who might use those same technologies? Well, when I first came here, we didn't have mediated classrooms, so I used heavily videos to uh, enhance my, uh, uh, my, my classroom instruction. Uh, but the same, uh, then little by little, you know, the, 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 the college added more and more technology. And I have to say, your department, the technology department, has been wonderful in scheduling seminars and training and accommodating. At least my personal experience has been wonderful. And I trained. I trained to the point that I feel like got another degree in technology, but I'm incorporating heavily now not only video and uh, audio, but then uh, I, I, I do a lot of PowerPoint. And in the PowerPoint, I incorporate um, slides with text where I put the bullets and the main points of the, of the reading, but at the same time, I incorporate uh, pictures of the paintings and sculptures and all the things, the, 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 the visual parts that reflect the story as we studied in the text. And you see, actually, I've asked my students time and again what they like about it, whether they like the PowerPoint, whether it takes away from their experience. And time and again, the, the, the reaction I've gotten is that they do like the PowerPoint because um, it brings in the main points that they need to focus on. But they've told me that what they like in particular is the way I use PowerPoint. In other words, we put the slide up there, but then we use the slide as um, a point that brings more um, uh, understanding, more conversation, more uh, analysis to uh, the story that we've read, and I find this uh, very, um, very, very good for my students. And what is the proposed topic of your idea exchange? I'm at the point where I'm, uh, I've been trained to teach online, and I'm building up a, an online course right now. What I find challenging personally is that um, when I'm online, I find it difficult to, uh, uh, to have the live part of the classroom instruction. In other words, I can put the PowerPoint online, but I cannot put myself explaining. And so the proposed idea is that I would have little video clips there to explain online in video in a lively way the way I explain things in my classroom to have them online for my students. Because for undergraduates who take this class, that would be very, very good. 
And the other uh, idea that I have that I propose is that the way I'm challenged about it, I'm sure that other people who teach online have been challenged or they have found wonderful things about online instruction. So I would like to learn from other instructors what has challenged them, how they solve the problem, or what other things that they're doing that I can incorporate in my teaching as well. Okay, it's time for the mystery question. Are you ready? I know that mythology is an integral part of your teaching curriculum and that you know the epic very well. And so I have a very important question for you. If you were going to make a movie about the Odyssey, which part would you play and why? That's a very difficult question, Sean, because <clears throat> the Odyssey is such a rich text. Where do I begin? What I would find um, much more to my personality would be the end of the Odyssey, where Odysseus returns home, and his wife, who is equally clever and uh, powerful, uh, challenges him. She doesn't, ex she doesn't accept him right, now, uh, right away, but she puts him to the test by uh, using a trick which, which has to do with their bedroom, with their bed, the way the bed is constructed. She proposes to the maid that she may take the bed out of the bedroom so Odysseus, who claims to be Odysseus, may sleep in the bed that he claims to be his bed, but not in her bedroom, which, of course, infuriates Odysseus. And that's the clue she needs to have in order to understand that this is her husband because he know, she knows and he knows that that bed is immovable. Her name is Penelope. Actually, that is the correct answer, Lena. Uh, you win the grand prize for the day, uh, which is some Elmo star student stickers, which I know your students will really appreciate, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Lena Hatsakronoglu, thank you for participating in the CTL Idea Exchange. Thank you. If that can help in any way the, 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 the goal of education, I'm really pleased.